In this video, we are going to look at how to translate exponential functions vertically or horizontally. So starting with vertical translations, when translating an exponential function vertically, it shifts every coordinate on the graph up or down. It also shifts the asymptote up or down. The way it affects the equation is in the value of q. Okay, so a vertical shift affects q. And when we shift up, we add a value to q. And when we shift down, we subtract. Okay, so given the graph of y equals a third to the x, which I've labeled here with a star to remind us of which graph is the original graph, our asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, is y equals 0, which is the x-axis. Okay, so let's start by shifting this graph up by 3 units. Okay, so that means I need to move every point up by 3 units. So my y-intercept of 1 will go to 4, and I have a point at negative 1, 3, that will go to negative 1, 6, and we can, oh, sorry, and the asymptote is also shifted up by 3 units. So instead of y equals 0, it will go to y equals 3. So when you have to draw the, sh the vertical shift, always start with your asymptote. Okay, right, and then you are able to draw the graph. Remembering that you are going ever, cl ever more close to your asymptote but not touching it okay so that is what the exponential function looks like having been shifted vertically up by three units okay now if we look at the equation of this new graph if we start with the original equation it was y equals a third to the x now if i shift up by three units it affects the q value which is added here so i'm going to add 3 because I move up by 3. Right, looking at a downward shift, let's shift the original graph down by 2 units. So if I look at the actual graph, that means my asymptote will be shifted by, down by 2. So instead of y equals 0, it will go to y equals negative 2. And every point on my original graph will be shifted down by 2 units. So the y-intercept of 1 will go to y-intercept of negative 1. The value negative 1, 3 will go to negative 1, 1. Okay, the coordinates, yeah, that's all I have to, okay. So now we can draw our graph. Okay, so looking at the equation for this graph, we start with the original. We have y equals a third to the power of x. Now shifting down by two units affects the q value, and we subtract by two. So instead of zero, I have negative two. Looking at horizontal translations, okay, the way a horizontal translation affects the graph is that it is shifted left or right. And in the equation, a horizontal shift affects the p-value. Okay, if I am shifting left, we add a value to x. If we shift right, we subtract from x in the exponent. Okay, so again, beginning with the function y equals a third x, which I have put a star above on the diagram here, so we can keep track of the original. Okay, right, so let's do a shift left by four units. Okay, so every point on the graph is going to be shifted left by 4 units, and my horizontal asymptote 
will remain unchanged. So currently the asymptote is sitting at y equals 0. And a horizontal or vertical shift does not affect that. So for horizontal shifts only, the asymptote is unchanged. Okay, so shifting left by 4 units. So my y-intercept value will be moved by 4 units to the left. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, um, I have the coordinates negative 1, 3. That will be shifted left 4 units to negative 5, 3. And we can draw the graph. Okay, and sorry, let's not have that little, ooh. And we can draw the graph. Okay, it's going to be very hard for me to <laughs> carry on here. Okay, there we go. Okay, looking at the equation of this, a horizontal shift affects the p-value, okay, it determines what we add or subtract from x. So if I start with the original function, which was y equals a third to the x, shifting left by 4 units, to represent that shift, I'm going to add 4 to x, okay. Right, so let's do a shift to the right by 3 units, okay. So looking at the graph, that means every coordinate will be shifted right by 3 units. So where I have negative 1, 3, that will go to 0.23. Where I have 0, 1, it will go to 3, 1. And those are the only um, clear coordinates that I have. So shifting 3 units, I can draw the graph. And remember that the asymptote is unchanged. Okay, so looking at the equation, I start with the original y equals a third to the x. Shifting right by 3 units means I'm now going to subtract 3 from x. And that is my final equation. Okay, looking at the first example, it says consider f of x equals 2 to the x minus 1. Give the equation of the translated function if f of x is shifted 4 units to the right and 5 units down. Now remember when we shift right, we subtract, and when we shift down, we subtract. So let's call our new function g of x. And we have, I'm just going to rewrite the original f of x, okay, and show what we, the adding and subtracting in a different color. So Shifting 4 units to the right is reflected in the p-value, okay? Shifting right means I'm going to be subtracting 4 from x, okay? Then 5 units down, a vertical shift affects the q-value. So moving 5 down means I'm going to subtract 5 from q. So my final equation then will be 2 to the x minus 4 minus 6. Looking at the second example, it says consider f of x equals negative 2 to the x minus 3 plus 4. Give the equation of g of x, f of x shifted 4 units to the left and 9 units up. Now remember when we shift left, we add. And when we shift up, we add. Okay, so we have g of x. And again, I'm just going to rewrite the original function first and just show the shifts um, in a different color. So shifting four units to the left affects the p-value and shifting four units left means we are going to be adding four to the x there and shifting nine units up affects the q-value where we are going to be adding nine. And now we can simplify. So it's negative two to the x plus one plus 13 would be our final equation.